This is a model that demonstrates the ingredients that lead to the ultimate performance of a skill. Let's take, for example, a skill such as cannulation. This can be performed on a mannequin fairly straightforwardly, but if you change the patient or the environment, the likelihood of successful cannulation may change. So, what are the ingredients that will lead to a successful performance of such a relatively straightforward skill? Central to the recipe we present here is decision making. Successful performance requires us to make the right decision. Does the patient need a cannula? Have I got the appropriate experience? Are there alternative veins that could be used? Is there someone to support me? Am I focused or distracted? And many more. In order to ensure a successful performance, we need to make a judgment about our physical skills. Our ability to perform the cannulation will be affected by the amount of experience and practice we have had. Successful performance requires cognitive skills, including a knowledge of the equipment, the relevant ergonomics of that performance, as well as self-knowledge. The third ingredient is the team. The team can both enhance and disable performance. The fourth component is the environment. There will be both external and internal factors that will affect the environment, making it highly stressful or calm and supportive. For example, cannulating a multiple trauma victim outside in the freezing cold with noise of engines and screaming children will negatively affect the environment. In contrast, a well-staffed, quiet setting with suitable equipment will positively affect the environment. Some factors we can influence; others we cannot. External factors include things such as the weather, as well as organisational resources and support. Factors internal to the workplace might include things such as the position of the individual, for example. There are also factors internal to the individual, such as how they deal with stress. Now, let's consider what supports these four elements. Skills labs can be a very useful arena to practice and develop automaticity for the physical skills. Managing the stress can help keep the hand steady and so aid the performance of physical skills. Information sources such as access to the web. Mobile apps or to physical textbooks can support not only the performance of cognitive skills but also physical skills by, for example, setting out steps and procedures that can be followed. Human factors linked to stress management concern the knowledge of mistakes and why we make them, and how we can challenge the way we make those mistakes. The interaction of individuals within the team adds a layer of complexity to these human factors. Mindfulness is a cognitive skill that can improve both cognitive thinking skills as well as the way the team functions. And finally, leadership and management are ingredients that can enhance or worsen the organisational context. Put them together, and you've got the ultimate performance recipe.